this uh, transgender agenda to make it that much easier to get to the children. These politicians we talked about, are they demonic? I've always thought that that was um, tied into the one world religion. Um, listen, we have the new End Times DVD. Um, it uh, investigates uh, End Times investigation. I have a lot of my friends on here, uh, Lisa Haven, Michael Lake. Uh, I, I have Josh Peck, L.A. Marzulli, uh, Stephen Bancroft. I mean, eight hours of, of me investigating things like Satanism, demonic powers, Illuminati, New World Order, Antichrist, One World Religion, End Times, Miracles, Bible Prophecy. Folks, let me tell you something. One day, what you're watching us on right now, it's called, well, it's called television, it's called social media, it's called the Internet. They're going to turn that baby off. You need a hard asset. When all this stuff gets shut off, this is what, the, what you're going to be able to, to learn from and to understand. So I want you to uh, text the word CHOSEN to 91999, the word CHOSEN to 91999. I want to ask you about the one world religion, because um, I know you cover, and I'm giving a little uh, hints away, you cover politics uh, mm -hmm. quite a bit. Um, do you see... Um, any manifestation of a one world religion, or am I just kind of living in fairy tale land? No, I think you're you're dead on. I mean, obviously, we're moving towards a one world number of different things, and the one world religion would be part of the one world system uh, that they hope to push us into. Uh, it would certainly be a lot easier to control uh, all of us if we all believe the same thing. Um, you know, and it's not only in religion, but that's such a major part of it for so many people out there. They have to be able to do that as well. They need uniformity of thought. They need uniformity of beliefs. Uh, and they need you to believe certain things in order to accept all of the various changes that are going to have to come down the pipe. And for a lot of people out there, the only way that that's ever going to happen is if their pastors or their religious leaders tell them that this is the way that it has to be and that this is uh, the, the true nature of the scripture. This is what the doctrine is now. And uh, welcome to that brave new world. Yeah. And, and, and you touched on something. It has to happen in all aspects of life. Here, enter, now we enter the one world uh, government, the new world order, right? Mm -hmm. yep. um, so, so we talked about the one world religion. Now let's talk about the new world order. How do you see the two merging together? And when I say the new world order, we're talking about everything from politics to financial to cultural. How do you, do you see those merging together? Oh yeah. I, th I think that it's inevitable. It, it, in order for them to be able to control everyone and uh, have that uniformity of thought, people have to be on the exact same page. And we see that every day with the propaganda that's out there on the airwaves, uh, with yeah. the way that they're trying to groom children at a young age. You know, one of the reasons that this bill in Florida was so controversial is because those years uh, between like five and eight, those are formative times. And if they can convince a child that something is that it's something is good, that, uh, you know, this type of behavior is, is how you should be acting, then it makes it that much easier to form their opinions and their beliefs when you get a little bit further down the line and they can get into other subjects. But they are bringing these very adult topics in at a very young age to make it that much easier to get to the children and control their minds at, uh, at a time before they get to high school. Because it, it, once you get to high school, once you get to adulthood, uh, what you believe and who you are is, is pretty well set in stone. You know, yes, you can have revelations and, you know, things can happen in your life. You can change. But if they're able to mold you in clay at that very beginning and then put you in the kiln, uh, then it'll be far more successful and they'll have a less likelihood of people fighting back or even understanding what's been done to them. The Antichrist is a system or a man? Um, well, I mean, it's definitely an entity, but I, I think that it, it represents the system. The system is the representation of it yeah. in the physical world. Right. Um, you know, I mean, it, and, and this to me is all part of that 
one world government, new world order. Um, yeah. be, you know, because, you know, somebody's going to be sitting at the head and, uh, you know, right. the, the Antichrist wants to cloud our minds and to convince us that this is the one true way, the actual light, Lucifer, the light bringer, uh, that this is somehow a greater revelation than anything we might have learned in church. <laughs> right. Now, you come from a Catholic background. Yes. Um, uh, and a lot of people, you know, they talk about the Pope um, being the uh, the man of the hour, if you know what I'm saying. Sure. Uh, is there any merit to that? I mean, you come from a Catholic background. Is that is there any merit to that, or do you think that's a diversion? I, well, I think that it's very possible that uh, the current pope, um, you know, fits a lot of those bills. And certainly, you know, thinking about the idea of a one world religion, the stuff that he preaches and uh, the directives that he's giving to modern day Catholics, I, I think that that is leading us directly into that. Um, you know, so it mm. would not surprise me if that was the case. Zach, I'm going to ask you point blank. These politicians, we talked about, uh, you know, different people that are corrupt. Is this a demon? I mean, honestly, I'm not being, I'm not joking, but could some of these people be possessed? Uh, yes, I absolutely believe that at least some of them are. Undoubtedly, some of them must be. Um, and it wouldn't surprise me if all of them were either. You know, we, we, yeah. we, we in the first portion of the show, when we touched, a, you were touching a little bit on this uh, transgender agenda. You know, I've always thought <laughs> that that was, um, tied into the one world religion because what is a transgender person but essentially the physical representation of baphomet you know i mean the yeah. only thing you're missing is the goat head and right. uh, you right. know and, and so yes i i definitely believe that at least some of these people are possessed right and so so the point i'm trying to make the analogy is you're you're looking at a politician that's just outright evil Mm -hmm. They do evil things. You're saying possibly they could be demon oppressed, uh, uh, possessed, definitely demon oppressed. Mm -hmm. But yet you could interview an atheist who's 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 the opposite of what you believe. And not necessarily would they be demon possessed. It's just that's their obviously they're they're influenced by demons. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. For, because I mean, they've someone like that has probably spent their whole life listening to that leftist propaganda because their whole, I mean, the, the basis of everything, you know, trusting the science and, and, you know, not having any kind of faith in anything, you know, it doesn't matter if it's, you know, our God or, or somebody else's God, you know, to them, it's all superstition. And the only thing that you should be trusting in is the science and the state. And uh, for them, God has to be dead. God can't exist because there can be no greater authority than those people that are in power. I hope I portrayed enough to see, you know, it's evil. And, I, and, I, and I'll be quite frank. I don't like Fauci. I don't like what he talks about. He's flip-flop Fauci. I'll just call him what it is. He's been back and forth yeah. a lot of stuff. With what you're playing in The Last Evangelist, I think it really paints a picture of where we're headed. Um, I think some of the stuff that you portray in that particular series is absolutely some of the stuff we're going to see in the near future. All right. If you're interested in... Uh, getting involved in Last Evangelist, our new TV series, which is coming out the first of the year. Go to lastevangelist.com. You can uh, sign the newsletter. You can even uh, donate. And we do need your help. We really do. Um, you can see on there the things you can do. You can uh, uh, special thanks. Uh, you can donate, get T-shirts, hats. Uh, you can uh, come walk the red carpet. Hey, you can uh, be in the movie. You can be an associate producer. You could even be an executive producer. This is how we're bringing this truth to you guys. I'm not going to the studio. God said, go to my people. That's what I'm doing. Go to lastevangelist.com or text the word evangelist to 41444. Uh, or you can make that call to 844-806-0006. In these last days, people will worship false gods. As the Antichrist arises, Christians will be persecuted. David Hefner Investigates is proud to bring you End Times Investigations, a new DVD series containing over eight hours of interviews, commentaries, and teaching on Illuminati and the New World Order, Satanism, 
Miracles and Healings, The Antichrist and One World Religion. Hi, I'm David Hebner, and I'm proud to bring you this brand new DVD collection, End Times Investigations. David reveals how the media is working hand in hand with the Antichrist system. Order now and receive this special DVD collection. Text bonus to 41444 or davidhevner.tv slash order. Call toll free 844-806-0006. Text bonus to 41444 or davidhevner.tv slash order. Call toll free 844-806-0006.